Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amato. Today is the 10th of February and this time I'm bringing you some rather exciting news from Bethesda as they have announced plans for their first ever, yes, ever dedicated E3 conference which is set to take place in Hollywood on the 14th of June which is the Sunday of E3 of this year. Now, a limited number of tickets will be made available, or you will be able to watch the home, from home via Twitch, and of course it will be reported most likely here and, well, every other gaming publication under the sun. And now, of course, the speculation turns to what Bethesda will be showing. Unfortunately, there's no official word, so speculation and wild rumours is all we have, but... Obviously, the next big project for Bethesda is rumoured to be Fallout 4 which has apparently entered full production back in April of last year following the launch of Skyrim's final DLC. Of course, an early casting leak placed the game in a post-apocalyptic version of Boston, Massachusetts, although, of course, it may have changed significantly since then if it was ever true to begin with. So let's just say we have Fallout 4. Okay, that's one game, but one game does not make a conference. So, what else could they have? Well, one thing that I would love to see is Dishonored 2. And of course we have had some rumours regarding Dishonored 2 floating around for a while. And we even have a title which is Dishonored 2 Darkness of Tivia. Which of course, as I said, is rumoured. So, okay, T Dishonored 2, awesome. Fallout 4, awesome. What else could we possibly have? Well, of course we have The Elder Scrolls Online which is in full swing. We could see some new content for that. But of course we have the free to play upcoming multiplayer game Battle Cry from Bethesda so we'll most likely see that make an appearance and what we're likely to see more of is the Doom reboot which of course is being developed with id Tech 6 for all the next gen consoles that being PC, PS4 and Xbox One. Um, so yeah. They could also touch on the console versions of ESO, which of course would have just launched um, a few days before when this conference takes place. And they most likely will mention ESO, whether it be PC or console or all of the above. Um, that will most likely have an appearance, even if it's just to talk about how it's doing, even if no con new content is announced. So I'd imagine that they might want to think about that, but given that it's just come out on console, it might be a bit soon, but possibly for PC users. I don't know, it's tough to say with ESO, given the massive delays in console release, it's really hard to say what they're going to do. But to be honest, as long as there's Fallout 4 and Dishonored 2, don't really care. As long as those two are present, I am happy. Dishonored 2 would be amazing. Fallout 4, of course, amazing. Dishonored 2, uh, sorry, Dishonored was actually one of my favourite games of the year it came out. I uh, picked it up on Steam, really cheap, and it was really, really good. I'd love to see more. Arcane did a fantastic job, and I want to see more of it. So, Dishonored 2, please, 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 Fallout 4, yes, oh my god, yes, yes. Take it, take, take my life, take my money. As they say, shut up and take my bottle cups, damn it.